2024 Mercedes AMG GT63. Technology meets muscle, a look at performance and innovation. Mercedes-Benz has transformed its AMG division into a robust business, offering everything from high-performance SUVs to track-ready machines. While most of the sales come from SUVs and sedans, the spotlight is firmly on the 2024 Mercedes AMG GT63. As the current performance flagship, until even more potent versions arrive, it sets the benchmark for the AMG lineup, embodying true supercar performance. Essentially, if the GT63 doesn't deliver, neither does the AMG brand. So, does the latest generation GT meet the high expectations? We put it to the test to find out. Pros. Lightning fast acceleration. Superb handling with a predictable and manageable demeanor. Easy to drive at its performance limits. Cons. Heavier than the previous AMG GT. Visually similar to the old model. Better performance can be found at this price point. To recap, this is the second generation of the AMG GT, essentially a hardtop version of last year's Mercedes AMG SL convertible. The first gen GT, particularly the 63S model, was named our 2015 best driver's car, the predecessor to today's performance vehicle of the year. The new GT Coupe, while visually similar to its predecessor, is a larger vehicle featuring optional rear seats best suited for groceries and an additional pair of driven wheels, the fronts. It's also about 550 pounds heavier than the 2016 GTS that won the BDC. According to Mercedes Marketing, this model aims to be more user-friendly at the customer's request, a shift that sometimes dilutes the essence of our favorite performance cars. But fear not, AMG fans. Our track test results are unequivocally positive more power, put to good use. The new GT63 boasts 577 horsepower from its 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8, making it the most powerful GT we've tested, second only to the 2021 GT Black Series, a track-focused powerhouse. While the GT63's 577 horsepower trails the Black Series' 720 horsepower, it matches the racer's 590 lbft of torque. For comparison, the rear-wheel drive 2016 GT63S offered 503 horsepower and 479 lbft. Instead of the first-gen GT's 7-speed twin-clutch transmission, the new GT63 features a 9-speed automatic with a wet clutch in place of a torque converter. This setup propels the new GT63 to 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds, exactly as Mercedes predicted beating the first-gen 63S by 0.1 second and trailing the Black Series by 0.2 second. It covers the quarter-mile in 11.2 seconds, faster than all but the Black Series, though its 123.7 mph trap speed is lower than several other GTs we've tested. The new GT63 includes an out-of-gear rev limiter at 3,500 RPM, but our best results came from launching just above 3,000 RPM. Breaking from 60 to 0 took 102 feet, an impressive figure, though not quite as good as the first-gen GT, indicating the added weight of the new model. Our tests of the original GT63S produced distances between 95 and 102 feet, while the Black Series stopped in 93 feet. Nonetheless, we appreciated the new GT's pedal feel, which is rock-solid like a true racing car. Minimal pedal movement delivers substantial stopping power, and we scarcely triggered the anti-lock system. Better behavior than numbers. On the skid pad, the new GT63 produced numbers comparable to the first-generation model. 1.05G on the pad in 23.4 seconds through the figure 8, matching the slowest of the three 2016 GT63S models we tested. The quickest clocked in at 23.2 seconds. However, as with any instrumented testing, numbers don't tell the whole story. What truly matters is the car's behavior. And it behaves beautifully. Even in ESC Off, Master Mode, the car remains mostly neutral with a slight oversteer bias. We could push it aggressively without spinning, and easily execute some impressive drifts. It's easy to forget the GT delivers power to all four wheels, not just the rears. Though this is intentional, as the GT directs most of its torque to the rear, especially in sport or full-off mode. There's also a drift mode that sends all power rearward, but we found we didn't need it. 
Several staffers took the new Mercedes-AMG GT63 for hot laps around the track, and our subjective impressions aligned with our objective testing results. The GT63 appears to be a brutal track monster, but once you get behind the wheel, it proves to be exceptionally approachable and tractable. While we could feel the weight, the engine's seemingly limitless power made it easy to forget. However, prompt and deliberate braking is necessary to control the GT's speed. Despite this, every one of us who drove the new Mercedes-AMG GT thoroughly enjoyed the experience. More livable turns out to be a good thing. In the effort to make the GT more livable, we ended up appreciating that change as well. One of our main criticisms of the successive versions of the first-gen GT was that Mercedes kept making them increasingly hardcore at the cost of comfort. The new GT successfully reverses this trend, restoring the blend of sizzling performance and everyday livability that initially earned it accolades as the best driver's car, BDC. While we're not thrilled with the added weight, it's a small concession. After all, most of us have gained a few pounds over the past decade. If the GT has any flaw, it's that it feels stuck in the past. Several team members found it hard to believe this is an entirely new version of the GT. As we wrap up this first test, countless car review cliches come to mind. You can have it all, the best of both worlds, no compromises, and so on. For the just, under dash dollar 178k base price of the AMG GT63, or the $212,000 as tested price, you can buy many amazing cars, some sexier and are quicker. However, the GT63 remains a compelling and accomplished package, and it's poised to get even better with the upcoming GT63S, the successor to the car that won BDC years ago. Indeed, Mercedes-AMG has delivered, and the new GT63 is proof of that. 2024 Mercedes-AMG GT63, a refined beast. The 2024 Mercedes-AMG GT63 is a grand tourer that pulls no punches. It's a powerful, luxurious car that offers exhilarating performance and a comfortable ride, but with a few compromises. Breathtaking performance. The GT63 boasts a twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 engine that churns out a whopping 577 horsepower and 590 lbft of torque. This translates to neck-snapping acceleration, with 0 to 60 miles per hour achieved in a scant 3.6 seconds. All-wheel drive ensures grip in all weather conditions, while the sophisticated suspension system keeps handling sharp and precise. Luxurious interior. The cabin is a testament to Mercedes' focus on luxury. Premium materials and a well-thought-out design create a stylish and comfortable environment. The front seats are supportive and perfect for long drives, while the rear seats offer decent legroom for two passengers. However, the sloping roof line can eat into headroom for taller individuals. Tech Showcase The GT63 comes loaded with technology, featuring a comprehensive infotainment system with a large touchscreen display. The system can be a bit complex to navigate at times, but it offers a wide range of features and functionality. Aesthetics that turn heads. The GT63 is a looker. The sleek and aggressive design is sure to turn heads wherever you go. The long hood, muscular stance, and sharp lines all contribute to the car's imposing presence. The verdict, a potent blend, but not without flaws. The 2024 Mercedes-AMG GT63 is a fantastic car for those who prioritize performance and luxury. It offers a thrilling driving experience, a comfortable interior, and a head-turning design. However, the infotainment system can be frustrating, and the rear seats are a bit cramped. Additionally, the ride quality can be firm in comfort mode, which some might find unsuitable for long-distance touring. Ultimately, the GT63 is a car for drivers who want the best of both worlds, a luxurious GT Cruiser and a ferocious sports car. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.